Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the limit points and the derived set of A. So the derived set is the set of all limit points. So we have a set X, A, B, C, D, E, and tau is a topology on X. So it's a collection of open subsets. These are called the open subsets in the topology. And our set here is A. So in order to do this problem, the only thing you need is the definition of what it means for an element in capital X to be a limit point of A. So let me write that down very carefully and then we'll just go through and do the problem. So little x in capital X is a limit point. So is a limit point of A if the following condition holds. So basically if every open set containing little x so if every open set, I'll call it O, containing little x, contains points of A different from little x. So contains points of A different from little x. So different from x. So little x will be a limit point of A if every open set containing little x contains at least one point of A that's different from, from little x. So what we're going to do here is just go through every single element one by one and we'll just talk about it and we'll have the answers. So solution. We'll start by checking A. So to check A, we have to see if A is a limit point. So we have to use this definition. So we have to look at every open set, in other words, every element of tau containing A. So here is an open set. This is an open set containing A. So now we ask the question, does it contain points of A different from little a? So it, does it contain any elements that are here that are different from little a? No, it doesn't. In fact, little a is the only element it contains. So no, this is not a limit point. Let's do B. So check B. So let's see, let's look at all the open sets containing B. So capital X is an open set containing B. So, so it also contains A, but again, when we were doing this, I was just looking for one example where, where it fails. So as long as you can find one open set where it fails, you're good. All right, so B, this one will not fail because this is an open set containing little b, and it certainly contains points of A. It contains A. That's a point different from B. So. We're good there. So we ignore that one, we ignore that one, we ignore that one, we ignore that one. This is an open set and it contains little b. So does it contain points of A that are different from little b? Uh, yeah, it does. It contains C, right? So that's a point of A that's different from little b. So this is an open set containing little b and it has a point of A that is different from little b. So b is a limit point. So b is going to be one of our limit points. Again, A is not because we found an open set containing A that does not contain points of A different from A. So as long as you find one, you're, you're good. That's why I kind of ignored capital X and I was immediately drawn to this when we were doing this part. But notice when we did B, we did have to check every single one. Um, let's check C. So we're looking for a set containing C that uh, has points of A different from C, uh, or maybe that doesn't. So I'm looking here at this one. So this is an open set and it has C. So does it have points of A that are different from little c? No, it doesn't. It has D, but D is not an A. So that means that this, is, this fails. So this would not be a limit point. So this would be no. As long as you can find one that fails this definition, it's not a limit point, right? It has to be true for every open set. Let's check, um, I guess let's check little d. We're going down the line, right? A, B, C, D, E. So little d. This is an open set containing little d. Does it contain points of A different from D? It does. It contains C and C is an A, so that's okay. How about this one? This contains little d. Does it contain points of A different from little d? It does. It contains A. It also contains C. All we need is one though, so that's okay. Here's little d. Does it contain points of A different from little d? It does. It contains C. Here's little d, it's in here, right, because this is capital X, and that certainly contains points of A, different from little d. So little d is going to be a yes. Little d will be a limit point. One more, so let's check 
E. So we're looking for open sets containing E. So my eye is drawn here. So this is an open set containing E. And uh, it has points of A, like B, that's different from E. So that's okay. Doesn't contain E, doesn't contain E, doesn't contain E, doesn't contain E. Oh, look, that contains E, but it certainly has points of A different from E. So every open set satisfies this definition for this. So our limit points are going to be B, D, and E. So our derived set is A prime, which is the set containing our limit points, B, D, and E. So just to recap one more time, little x and capital X is a limit point if, of A. If every open set containing your x has points of A different from x. I hope this video has been helpful. It takes uh, uh, some effort and time to get comfortable with, with this definition. Take care.